Hey everyone, how's it going? So I am here with the Tesla Model Y and I wanted to talk more about this keyring. So it's not as perfect as I originally thought. There are tricks that you can do to make sure your ring works every time or at least 90% of the time it will unlock and lock your vehicle. The problem is once your vehicle falls asleep, so when it goes in sleep mode, when you walk away from the vehicle after it locks for a long period of time, when you come back, for some reason, this sensor on this B pillar, it doesn't detect this ring as it should. So I do have a sticker here where I place where the ring would automatically recognize and unlock the vehicle. But since this vehicle has been asleep, I left it alone for a few hours. It's not as sensitive anymore. The sensor in here is not as sensitive. So the trick is to wake it up. So you wanna pull on the door handle. So now it's sort of detecting something's happening. Somebody's trying to open the door. And then now use the ring again. That's how you get around the sensitivity of this ring. So I have it on the wedding band finger and most people will have issue with this. When the car is asleep, it won't lock or unlock, right? So you just have to wake it up by jiggling on the door handle. And now you're able to get in. And to start the car, you just place the ring in the center console behind the cup holder. And now the car is on. And that's really how you get around the sensitivity of unlocking and locking the Tesla Model Y or 3. So this ring can be programmed, I didn't mention it in the last video, but it can be programmed to multiple Tesla vehicle. That's the benefit of this. Just like you would be able to with the key card. You can program it to work with multiple Tesla vehicle. And then to lock it, just place your finger back on and it's locked. So again, now it unlocks and locks with no issue. So the problem is once the car is asleep, the display is off, everything's off, you want to jiggle on this door handle to wake it up. Uh, the newer model Y and 3, all you need to do is just press in it. You don't have to have the automatic presenting door, but once you push in it, it will wake up the vehicle and then just pull it on until you see the display go off, until your sentry mode goes off asking you to use your phone key or your key card. At that point, it will unlock. So simple as that to troubleshoot if you have problems with getting your car unlocked with the key ring. Really like this key ring. It's not our primary key, but we use this as a backup uh, primarily and also to access multiple vehicle. So this was the Model Y, right? And we will go over to the Model 3 and just to show you, this is the same ring. Here's the Model 3. Again, you see how it's not unlocking? Because this vehicle has been asleep. So all you need to do is just jiggle on this door handle. Once the display asks for the key card, it opens. You just have to wake it up. Okay. If you're interested in this ring, check out the link in the description and we'll catch you all next time. Remember to subscribe. That's how you troubleshoot the sensitivity of Winky.